Before I make any more videos, I feel like I need to talk about this, and that's why I talk about what I talk about, why I believe what I believe, and why I've been posting videos about all this stuff that I've been posting. Recently, I've got a lot of comments that talk about, like, why do you post stuff like this? Stop condemning people, stop patronizing, whatever. Like, I'm not bashing anybody. I want to put that out there right now. I don't mean to come off in any demeaning way, any critical way. I feel like that's just the way some people might take it. And that's usually the way people take it when they feel like they're being talked to about this kind of stuff. And that's about like drinking, having sex, smoking, anything that, and I know some people don't like that I'm throwing Christianity in there and that, that says something, anything to do that God probably would ward against. And I try to talk about in my content the most, in the most generic way. I don't try to put religion in there too much because I want to appeal to everybody. I don't want to segment, seg, seg, segment, seg, segment. I don't know why that took me so long to think of. I don't want to segment a group of people to only watch this video because most people watch will watch a video and a lot of people, sad that this is true, will hear Jesus, God, Christianity, whatever, and then just turn away immediately from the video because that's what you say. So I try not to do that. I'm trying to appeal to everybody so that I can have the most, in a general sense, the most reach possible for these videos. Because I feel like a lot of these videos have to do with talking to people who might not be too involved in religion. And that's okay. It's not every, it's not always everybody's time. Everybody gets involved with that at some certain point in their life. I feel like eventually you should, but I try not to focus on that. I'm trying to focus on what is important with your life now. And this video is kind of made to tell you guys where my head is at, why I'm speaking about this stuff, why I feel like it's important, and also to put it out in the air, I'm not just saying this for videos. I'm not just putting this out there to try to be controversial, whatever. This is genuinely how, what I think, what I've been doing. This is the way I've been living life. And I feel like it's okay to spread that. And I feel like I should be. With all the content that people are pumping out, something that's really gotten in my head is most content has no value, has no actual value. And that's something I've been trying to change with our podcast because I've been trying to get more value out of the podcast instead of just talking about anything. Make it more of a purpose. If people are gonna sit down and watch your video, try to make it somewhat life-changing or at least have the goal to change somebody's life for the better. Because that's, honestly, I get it that media is enter entertainment, but why do we really need entertainment? What if we turn that entertainment into something that could better someone's mindset, better someone's life, better someone's health, you see a lot of garbage on the internet now. And I'm not saying my stuff is good. You can think my stuff is garbage or you can think my stuff is great. That's okay. It's just a matter of perspective. And whatever you guys choose to take from my content, I'm just putting it out there. You guys can take it as it is. My head is that, that we need better influences in the world. We need better words going out. We need, you know how you mindlessly scroll on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, YouTube in general? What if that mindless scrolling was watching good quality stuff that actually helps your mindset? Maybe you learn some stuff. Maybe you figure out something that you want for yourself. It, it frustrates me seeing all of this garbage on, on the internet. And most of it too, is telling people how to create content, how to pump out more content. We're not talking about what kind of content it is. We're not talking about if the content is valuable. We're not talking about if the content could better somebody's life. If we're not trying to better people's lives, if we're not trying to better our own life, then what is the point? What is the point? That's why I try to talk about alcohol. That's why I try, try to talk about smoking. That's why I try to talk about resisting yourself from sex. That's why I try to talk about having a real family one day, having those good, pure goals, trying to get into religion maybe a little bit, trying to just live the best life you can possible and be the best version of yourself that you can be. 
that's what my the goal of my content is. And if I ever steer off from that, I don't see a point to me making content anymore. And that's how I view it for everybody else. And I'm not trying to be hypocritical about everybody else, but man, you go on the internet and you really feel like it rots your brain. What if we change the narrative to make it not rot your brain? What if we change the narrative to, I'm going to hop on, oh, there's literally a cop. I forgot there's a cop in our complex. He's like right over there. Oh, he's just walking his dog. It's kind of concerning. He's like right by my car. But let me get back on track. How would you feel if you could go on social media, go on Instagram for an hour, like say, I'm going to go on Instagram for an hour and actually confidently know that that hour is going to help you in some way. Somehow you're going to learn something. Somehow you're going to better your mindset. Somehow you're going to get motivated. Imagine if that hour, instead of mindlessly scrolling on all these different channels, different videos that have no value to your life at all. And that is what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not, I haven't even figured it out yet. I've just been making content to try to figure out how to make this the best content I can of how it betters, not just of how it looks, how it feels, how consistent and like how consistent I am. It's about the value. Why would it go on the internet if it isn't valuable? And it, again, if you don't find my content valuable, no problem. You can scroll off. I feel like I am making valuable stuff and the cop is walking towards the car. Hopefully he doesn't see this giant, giant camera in my car, me speaking to myself. But Okay, good, good. You just scroll on the internet, you see so many negative, toxic, evil things. And you may not see it that way, but once you start really thinking deep into what social media is and what a lot of these people are involved with that have a large social media following and are making a lot of money, you start to really think, this is, a, this is kind of a setup. It's kind of something set up to mess with your life, to waste your time to get you wanting to do bad habits, to wanting to, actually, that's just it. Social media, a lot of people just try to get you, they, they, they make spicy content on Instagram and TikTok, YouTube shorts, and it may not look like the, the bad stuff, like, you know, sexual content, but it is, and it's meant to be. It's meant to get you in that, sorry, mood, and it's not good. And especially it, 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 it floods your mind to think, oh, this is normal. This is okay. This is fun. I, you, everyone should accept me for having fun watching this and participating in this. They've made it the norm. And what I'm trying to do is fight the norm. I'm trying to fight the norm of that you don't need to go out and drink. You don't need to go smoke. You don't, I get it. You might say it's fun, but why is that fun? Why does that have to be your version of fun? And I'm not trying to be hypocritical and, you know, scrutinize you, but there are better things in life than that. What is the benefit of it to have fun? There's a lot of fun things in life that don't involve messing with your body. And also, God would not be proud of that. And we all know that. We all should know that. If you're not putting content out there to try to help people in a genuine way, way not just entertainment not just to get people aroused not just to tell people that they're doing fine it's okay get drunk get plastered every weekend get high as hell it's so cool i hope that you do not take this in a hateful way this is genuinely me concerned for society this is me genuinely concerned for people and i've been living my life happy and keeping myself like this and i've I mean, yeah, it hasn't all been happy, but I've been happier knowing, hey, I'm sober. Hey, I, my lungs are fine. I'm eating healthy. I'm going to the gym. I am focusing on my business. I'm focusing on my podcast. I'm making content. I'm moving forward in life. I'm focusing on family. I'm focusing on friends. That is what makes me happy. I'm not saying that that's what needs to make you happy, but search deep down and think about what genuinely brings you joy, not just fun. Think about what brings you joy, genuine joy. What makes you wake up early, excited for the day? What makes you look back at your day and be like, oh my God, that was the greatest day ever. 
oh, I just wish I could live every single day like this. That's what I'm trying to get people to realize. That's what I'm trying to get you to realize is that you can do anything in life. But that's the problem with free will is that you can choose to participate in this bad stuff and you will find it fun. You will find it fun. But does it bring you true joy? Doing, let's say like, if you're getting drunk, if you are, now I'm saying if you're getting drunk in the sense of not focusing on how other people react to you getting drunk, yourself, you have high self-esteem for yourself when you get drunk. Do you feel joyful when you get drunk? Do you feel happy in actual joyful sense? Do you, when you smoke, do you actually feel the joy? Do you feel like you are, cops coming by again. When you're having, okay, if you're involved in hookup culture, if you're involved with hookup culture, are you happy with participating in that? Participating in hooking up with people that could genuinely care about you, but you're manipulating them. Does that bring you joy or does that bring you pleasure? I think that's what we really need to focus on a lot too, is what brings you joy versus what brings you pleasure. What brings you pleasure most of the time is not good. What brings you genuine joy is what is good for your life. Minus a few things maybe, but I'm trying to think of any personal examples I can think of. When I travel, when I'm backpacking, when I'm road tripping, I have genuine joy because I'm seeing the world, I'm seeing new things, I'm meeting new people. I feel that I am being open to new things in life. Now, pleasure, let's see, pleasure. I get pleasure out of eating a piece of chocolate cake. Now, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's not good for you. And I'm not, I'm not going to preach against like eating unhealthy, whatever. A chocolate cake is fine. But in a sense, wouldn't you love to just not, not feel the urge to eat chocolate cake so that you don't have to work it off the next day? Now, I'm not saying don't eat chocolate cake. I'm not saying like don't eat stuff for pleasure. Don't gorge yourself. Don't get fat that type of thing. Like don't, don't, don't try to gain weight in a bad sense. And like, you know, you're, you get the point, but in, in that comparison, what brings you pleasure is unhealthy for you. Now don't take it in the literal sense of eating chocolate cake. I'm not saying that I'm saying, take it as what that brings you pleasure. Chocolate cake, we can all agree is not great for our body. Now that's just like everything else that brings us pleasure forget the chocolate cake. Please just forget that part. But use it as a reference of it's not good for your body. I'm not saying don't eat chocolate cake. I'm saying this relates to other things that bring you pleasure that maybe you shouldn't be participating in. Now what brings you joy? What brings you joy moving forward in life? Family, friends, just like I said, what gets you to jump out of bed or look back at your day and be like, I wish I could live every single day like this. This is the type of content I'm trying to put out. And this is what frustrates me is the amount of people that don't do that. That don't put out content for the good of the world. They put out content for the bad of the world. They put out content for the money. They put out content for the pleasure. They put out content for the toxicity of society. There are a lot more people making good content. I will say that there are a lot more. It's just, I think that they're being weeded out by the evil. And you know what, sad to say, the bad is always going to outweigh the good. But people who can turn over to good just makes them that much more special because they can resist the temptation for those habits. It's true. It's strong. This is going to be controversial, but I'm going to say it anyways. Is it stronger to resist the temptation of drinking alcohol for a night? Or is it stronger to give in and get drunk and wake up the next morning with a huge hangover for n no benefit? I think we all want to be strong in our lives, be the best versions of, your, of ourselves, or else I might be wrong. But there is a certain value to thinking about what is going to make me the best version of myself. And once you start thinking of that, you start to think of like, okay, what components make me the best version of myself? What components don't make me the best version of myself? 
that's when you start to really break down. And that's my mental process and why I say what I say about alcohol, about smoking, about sex, hookup culture, all that stuff. That's why I say what I say. Because when I break it down, what is going to make me the best version of myself? Both physically and mentally and for other people too. Now, once you really start breaking that down, if you really think about it, you're going to start realizing, damn, these things are good for me and these things are not good for me. Do I really want to participate in the bad things? And when you start thinking about it in a return on investment standpoint, you start to realize that it's not worth it and that you only have one life to live. So why not be doing the best that you can for yourself instead of doing things because they're fun? Do things because they bring you joy. Like just, just do that and get rid of the word it's fun and replace it with it's joyful. And if you can't do something with pure joy, okay, well, not anything. Sometimes you do need to do the hard things in life and do things that you don't want to do, of course. But when I'm talking about free will of things, you can either stay sober for the night and not kill your liver and drink poison, or you can drink poison and get drunk and not remember that night. Which one's gonna bring you joy? Maybe neither. Maybe neither will bring you joy. And you might think that getting super, super drunk brings you joy. Might make some memories, whatever. You might not remember the memories, but I'm not trying to bash people. I want you all to know that. I want you all to know that I'm not trying to scrutinize. I'm not trying to belittle anybody. I don't judge anybody in real life for drinking. I don't judge anybody in real life for smoking. I don't judge anybody in real life for hookup culture, even though I feel like I just lied there because I do judge people for participating in hookup culture because that genuinely is not good. But drinking, my personal preference, I would rather not drink for myself. If others choose to do it, that's them. But I'm trying to make these videos to speak to the people that feel like they have to drink to fit in, that feel like they have to drink to have fun. You don't have to. And if you, and if you don't want to, you don't have to. And that's what these videos are for, so that you can realize that there is more. There is a different option. And that's what I'm trying to appeal to, is the people who want to just participate in drinking, you can stay that way if you'd like. And I will not judge you for that. And I don't think it's like, it's not inherently bad either. I'm not saying that. I am not the judge to say things are good or bad. I'm giving you the open-mindedness to think if you are on the fence. If you are on the fence of, well, I don't really want to drink, but everybody else is, so I feel like I have to, even though I don't really enjoy it. That is the type of person that I'm trying to appeal to, that I am trying to speak to, is that you don't have to. If you choose to, then that's you. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. That is the point of these videos. Those are who I'm trying to speak to. And even to the people that don't agree with me, you are welcome to listen to. And I love for everybody to listen to these videos because at the end of the day, I can't control your life. At the end of the day, you should not care about my opinion of you or anybody else. You should only care about what you think about yourself. And maybe my videos will give you somewhat of a idea of what you want for your life and who you want to be as a person. Maybe it will spark an idea in your head for yourself from my videos. That's the whole point. And these videos are not meant to force you into a certain lifestyle, to make you feel some type of way, to make you feel hurt that I attacked you. No, no, none of that. If, if you take it that way, please don't take it that way because that's not the way it's supposed to be taken. And if, if you do, then close the video, dislike the video, close it out and just never watch me again. That's my advice for you. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. But this is for the people that are debating who they want to be and aren't exactly sure. This is to push them in the direction that maybe they want to be. Maybe they don't. But if they don't, then they don't watch. That's all. And there's no disadvantage to trying to influence people to be the best versions of themselves. Be sober, not smoke, not participate in hookup culture, try to raise a really great family, try to be the best version of themselves. There's no disadvantage to that. There's nothing that hurts you from me trying to do that. It'll only benefit those who it resonates with. I hope that this all made sense. I thought I would clarify why I'm making these videos. I didn't feel right 
keep to keep making these videos without clarifying why I'm making them and what the purpose of them are. What is the purpose of these videos? What is why am I making these? Like, what is my mindset? What do I do? This is what I do. And also, this is to respond to a comment that I saw. This is not a business. I'm not making any money from this. I make money from my own social media marketing agency. That's a whole separate thing. I just make these videos as a passion project here and there. That's all. <laughs> so trust me, I did not move to Nashville with the thought of I'm going to make YouTube money. No, I don't make any money from YouTube, but I make money from my, from my agency that I made. And that's what has blessed me to be able to move out to Nashville and have more opportunity with that business. It's a whole separate business. This is not even a business. This is, these are just random videos that I post on the internet. That's it. With my, with my extra free time that I have. If I have 20 minutes to set up the camera, record it, I edit it for a few minutes because I don't do many cuts in these videos. It does not take me long at all. I just do it with my free time because I feel like this is my way of adding some purpose to the world, adding some purpose to my life, maybe adding some purpose to yours. This is not a business. I just wanted to clarify that. These videos do not make money. It'd be great if I made money from these eventually, but honestly, the goal with these videos is to help change some people's lives. That's it, to try to help people's mindsets. That's all. But I make money from a separate business, so don't worry, I can sustain myself. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment down below of any future video concepts that you'd like to see. Sorry, the car's about to turn off. Like I was saying, leave a comment down below if there's any video concepts you'd like me to talk about. Uh, share the video with anybody that you think might need to hear it. And subscribe down below if you enjoy these videos. But I will see you guys in the next one.